released the headline figures for CPI and rate of inflation for the month of May 2022. Do the segregations at various levels, starting with the dominant divisions of rate of inflation for the month of May 2022. Further disaggregation is done across food and non-food and focus on food, look at the subclasses and do geographical disaggregation as well. We're going to end today's release with highlights of CPI and rate of inflation for the month of May 2022. Consumer price index measures changes in the price of a fixed basket of goods and services that are purchased by households. The inherent assumption is that this basket is purchased on a monthly basis, so once price changes each month, the total price of the basket also changes. The rate of inflation is simply the relative change in CPI between two time periods, specifically on a year-on-year -year basis and, an, and on a month-on-month -month basis. So today's release is going to look at inflation annually and monthly. Further granulation will be done to determine regional commodity type and source of inflation. CPI does not measure price levels, as was indicated. It's simply the change in price levels of a fixed basket of goods and services that are purchased by households. We emphasize that it is not a cost of living index as it doesn't take into consideration all components of expenditure. Data is captured from two perspectives, monthly data, monthly data for prices and quantities of the items that we collect data on and the weight of items that we obtain from our living standard survey, which we are using the recent one based on the 2017 Ghana Living Standard Survey. Hence, the three variables that we use for the computation of CPI and rate of inflation are prices, quantities, and expenditure weights of the items. In 2018, we did a rebasing of the CPI. So throughout the year, we equated prices to 100. Since 2019, specifically August, we've been releasing rebased CPI and rate of inflation using 2018 as a reference year. Prices are collected from approximately 39,500 products every month. These 39,500 products are based on the brands of 307 items. Prices are collected from 44 markets, and within these 44 markets, we've identified 7,726 outlets. These products are ordered in a hierarchy starting with 13 divisions, 44 groups, 98 classes, 156 subclasses, and 307 items. The items are ordered in a mutually exclusive manner, which simply means that every item can only be part of one subclass, and every subclass can only be part of one class. Headline figures for consumer price index and rate of inflation for the month of May 2022. CPI for the month of May 2022 stood at 162.8 relative to 127.6 that was recorded for the same time, May 2021. Using these two indices, that is 162.8 for the month of May 2022 and 127.6 for the month of May 2021, year-on-year -year inflation for the month of 2022 stood at 27.6. This indicates a 4.0 percentage point variation between the rate that was recorded in April 2022 relative to May 2022. As it would be recalled, in April 2022, year-on-year -year inflation stood at 23.6, and for May 2022, year-on-year -year inflation was 27.6. This literally means that over this one-year period, that is between May 2021 and May 2022, prices, prices of goods and services have gone up by 27.6%. On a month-on-month -month basis, that is between April 2022 and May 2022, prices of goods and services went up by 4.1%. Um, Disaggregating this inflation rate across food and non-food inflation and also across locally produced items and imported items, food inflation for the month of May 2022 stood at 30.1% and non-food inflation for the month of May 2022 stood at 25.7%. This compares from a food perspective, an increase from 26.6% that was recorded for year-on-year -year inflation in the month of April 2022 to 30.1% for the month of May 2022. In the same way, from a non-food perspective, it has inched up from 21.3% for the month of April 2022 to 25.7% for the month of May 2022. 
From the perspective of food inflation, this is more than twice the ruling average, the period June 2021 to May 2022, as the ruling average stood at 13.5, indicating a more than doubling of the food inflation between May and the ruling average from the month of June 2021 to May 2022. On a month-on-month -on -month basis, food inflation for the month of May stood at 4.0, and we recorded a 0 0.1 percentage point variation between non-food inflation and food inflation, with non-food inflation on a month-of-month -month basis being 4.1% for the month of May 2022. From the perspectives of locally produced items and imported items, we see a sustenance of the dominance of imported items as a dead record 28.2 for the month of May 2022 relative to 27.3 for the for locally produced items for the month of May 2022 indicating a 0 0.9 percentage point variation between imported items and locally produced items. Disaggregating year-on-year -year in inflation from the 13 divisions point of view, we saw transport recording the highest rate of inflation of 39.0%, followed by housing equipment and maintenance, 33.8%. Housing, water, electricity, and gas came third, 32.3% and food and non-alcoholic beverages, 30.1%. All these four divisions recorded inflation rates higher than the national average of 27.6%. The division that recorded the least rate of inflation for the month of May 2022 was insurance and financial services with an inflation rate of 3.1%. And it is the only division that recorded an inflation rate lower than the rolling average for the period June, June 2021 to May 2022. All 12 items recorded higher rates of inflation relative to the average for the period June 2021 to May 2022. The same disaggregation is done on a month-on-month -month basis, and we identified four items that recorded inflation rates, inflation rates higher than the national average of 4.1%. Specifically on a month-on-month -month basis, housing, water, electricity, and gas recorded an inflation rate of 5.9%, followed by transport 5.6%, household equipment and maintenance 4.3%, and clothing and footwear 4.1%, which equaled the national average of 4.1%. Food and non-alcoholic beverage, beverages followed closely the national average with 4.0%. From the perspective of contribution to year-on-year -year inflation, again, from the 13 divisions point of view, we saw a slowdown in the contribution of food, reducing from 50.0 to 48.4% for the month of May 2022, indicating a 1.6 percentage variation for the contribution of food to the overall inflation for May 2022. We saw the contribution of housing, water, electricity, and gas increasing by 1.2%, specifically from 11.2%, which was recorded in April 2022, to 12.4%, that was recorded in the month of May 2022. Transport's contribution reduced marginally by 0.1%, as its, as its contribution in the month of April 2022 was 14.9% relative to 14.8% that was recorded for the month of May 2022. Focusing on food inflation at the subclass level for a, for a year on year and a month on month basis, we identified five um, subclasses that recorded food inflation, that recorded inflation rates higher than the overall food inflation of 30.1%. This was distantly led by oils and fats, which recorded inflation rate of 52.0 for the month of May 2022 followed by water 42.4, cereal products 37.2, fruits and vegetable juices 34.8, and live animals and meat 31.9. All these five classes recorded inflation rates higher than the overall food inflation of 30.1 for the month of May 2022. On a month-on-month -on -month basis, with food inflation recording 4.0 for the month of May 2022, we identified three subclasses, specifically oils and fats recording inflation rate of 6.5, vegetables 5.4, and cereal products 5.3. All three products had, had inflation rates higher than the overall month-on-month -month food inflation, which was 4.0 for the month of May 2022. Locally, 
locally produced items and imported items on a trend perspective. As was indicated earlier, we've seen a sustenance of the dominance of imported um, items superseding locally produced items, specifically with a variation of 0.9 percentage points with imported items standing at 28.2 for the month of May 2022, while locally produced item 27.3. This variation of 0.9 is relatively smaller than the 1.7 variation that was recorded for the month of April 2022, as imported items in April 2022 stood at 24.7, and locally produced items in the month of April 2022 stood at 23.0. From a regional perspective, we continue to see variations from a food and non-food perspective. While we saw that the Upper West region recorded the least rate of inflation from a non-food perspective of 8.0, from a food perspective, it recorded the highest rate of inflation of 35.4%. This led to the Eastern region recording the highest rate of inflation of 31.2% as its food inflation stood at 32.7 and non-food 29.8. Narrowing down on the Eastern region and the Upper West region from the perspective of year-on-year -year inflation and also from the perspectives of food inflation for Upper West region, we identify transport, household equipment and maintenance, housing, water, electricity and gas as the major drivers of inflation for the Eastern region. Although food and non-alcoholic beverages had the highest weight of 4.9%, its rate of inflation for the Eastern region was 32.7% relative to the 507 for transport for the Eastern region. For food inflation perspectives narrowing down on Upper West region, we identified fish and other seafood recording an inflation rate of 68.9%, followed by oils and fat 52.6% and cereal products 44.4%, culminating in the Upper West region recording an inflation rate, an inflation food, a food inflation rate of 35.4% for the month of May 2022. Highlights of May 2022, rate of inflation and CPI. Rate of inflation for the month of May 2022 stood at 27.6%, indicating a 4.0 percentage point difference between the rate that was recorded in April 2022 which stood at 